a bunch of coots flying back into the lake. Out here at Lake Anita, April 10th. There's one fisherman passing a beer to another. Hello, Goose. How you doing, buddy? See you later, alligator. They did some burning here at Lake Anita. Look at the deer trails, how clear they are. Lots of burning. That's the front of the park over there. Pond by the entrance. All right, let's keep on moving. Grass has been burned away here. The lake is right over there. If you look closely, you can see these little mounds of dirt. They're all over. Must be 30 or 40 of them right through here. I wonder what those are. Let's walk up and give one a kick. Pretty solid. Ah, ants. Thousands and thousands of ants. Are these all ants? I'm not going to kick this one. Yeah, that one looks like an anthill too. I'm sure when they did the burning, but there's still a, there's a log over there smoldering. Distance zero. So, Zero miles. I guess in the last day or so, huh? It doesn't smell at all. I mean, it, other than the smoke from that smolder, I really can't tell. I had to kick one more ant mound just to be sure that's what these were. Okay, I've walked quite a bit farther, but these uh, ant mounds are everywhere here. And over the hill over here. There's several more. I mean, there's a hundred right over here. Probably another hundred back there. So I, I did not realize we had so many ants like this. All in that area, up on the hill over there. Nothing through here though. I wonder why that is. The economy must not be right for them right through there. Right through there, but correct for it right over here. So here, <laughs> I've been looking at these ant mounds. Now this is not an ant mound. I don't know what this is. Maybe a, a little uh, ground squirrel or something like that. Pretty nifty, huh? Okay, I'm on the west end of Lake Anita State Park. I think it's west. There's a whole bunch of coots over there in the water. Let's keep on going down this trail. Yahoo! All right, some ducks over there. I'm at the very west end again of the lake. Some more coots over here. The beach area is that direction. The trail system, we just came off of it over here. We cross this little bit of water or roadway here and then we go back on it over there. Great day for a walk. A little windy, probably 15, 20 mile an hour winds, 10 or 15 mile an hour winds, but 50 degree temps. They can eat a water tower, boat ramp. Some guy's awesome looking boat there, fishing boat. Lots of fishing pe people out here fishing today. A lot of people walking out here today. Look at all those cars in the parking lot. Today is April 10th. It's my sister-in-law's birthday. I think she's like 27 today. Um, my dad turned uh, 91 two days ago on the 8th. So it's been a good, good month for birthdays. Beautiful Lake Anita. That walk is just about over. There was cars over there. That's where the hot rod Chevy is. They did some burning over here. There's a boat in the water. Look at the green in contrast to the black from the burn. Uh, it's been an interesting walk, a little chilly. The uh, big thing I've seen today besides beautiful Iowa, a lot of coots and geese, but a lot of people out here walking, uh, which is great. The park is, I think they're technically it's closed, but you can still walk out here. The gates are open, so they've got that part of the park shut off from foot tra or car traffic anyway. They have a new uh, boat ramp over there where that white pickup is. That's uh, really neat this year. 
beautiful lake. Lake Anita is a fabulous lake. If you ever, if you want to see deer or anything like that, a good, good source of wildlife. This trail is about four and a half or five miles long, maybe, around the uh, lake. Um, you ever get a chance to come out here, do it. It's a beautiful place. Y'all have a great day. Enjoy.